So this is a tutorial on how to use Pixton, the comic creator. I'm here on Pixton.com, P-I-X-T-O-N.com. We're going to set up an account. So go to Four Students, and it asks you how you'll be using Pixton. You're using it in class, so or for class. So click on In Class, and then you no, you don't have an account, so you're going to sign up. It's going to ask you how you want to sign up. Excuse me. It says, hello, student. Enter your teacher's class code. So our class code is 5 little t 9 little h little h. Then you hit continue. It says join your class. And you're going to sign in with Google. And you're just going to sign in with your regular Google account. Now you get to make your avatar so that we all kind of get put together in our little class photo together. So make me an avatar. I'm using Hanks right now. Poor child. So we'll pick his little skin tone and his hair color and his hairstyle and his eye shape and his dude eyes. Eyebrows. You get to have all the fun you want with this. This does not have to look like you. You can make it have blue hair and do whatever you want with it. Just skipping through here. No idea why this is so entertaining, but hopefully you do too. Oh, you can pick your buttons. I've already created mine, so you will definitely see my. Oh, see, there's me. And now we've added Hank to the class. So <laughs> there's Hank. Okay, so here's what you do. You'll notice it says Burger Science up at the top. You get to create your own comic. So we're going to say make a comic and enter a title. So we could call it Magnets. You saw, if you look at the assignment, you can see that it just needs to be something we've learned um, in this unit. So um, here is kind of the start screen. Um, the first thing we get to choose is our background. So... Um, I don't know, if you see this little lock on it, that means that it costs money to use it. So let's stick to the free stuff. You know what? Let's go this one. That one looks like fun. Now we get to add characters. So maybe I want to put a few characters in my comic. And there's one. Let's add another character. Why are there never any like athletic girl clothes? Where's a girl in a tennis shoes, tennis shoes and a hoodie? Anyway, um, let's add one more character. Ooh, she's got a cute braid. Oh, apparently that's the teacher. So now we have a teacher and two students. Awesome. Um, ooh, I can change the hair. Here. That's so fun. Ooh, that's fun. Anyway, come back. Now we've got our characters. Now we can decide how we're going to be looking at them. Are they all... We'll focus in on them. I like that. There we go. Now we want to add words. What do we want him to say? Hey. I need some help. And that's speech. Okay, now let's add some words to her. And hers can be a thought. Of course you do. You don't pay attention in class. Apparently she's going to be a smart aleck. So he's asking for help. She's saying, of course you do. Okay, so I'm done with that one. Now we can add a new panel. 
And when you add a new panel, it's going to automatically duplicate the one you just had. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. So now we might add words. Or let's add her, let's change her face. The teacher's going to be really happy. She's like, yes, I want to help you. And um, the girl is going to be annoyed. Oh, there it is. Oh, that one's locked. Just kidding. Can't use that one. Um, so she's annoyed. He's looking for help. And let's have the teacher add words. How can I help you? Lyle. We're going to name him Lyle. There we go. So now we have two panels. Um, I haven't used the actions category yet. Let's add, look at that one. We can change her action. So she's, you know, she's going to stick her hand up like she can help him. Um, oh, I'm looking at you. How can I help? There we go. How can I help you? Oh, it says his name is like Lyle. There we go. So that's two panels, right? Um, and then you just keep adding panels. You could, you know, if you wanted to in your story, you could then change the background. They could go, you know, outside into the dinosaur world and then have a conversation. You can change their faces. You can make it daytime or nighttime. You can change how you zoom in on them. Let me go to focus. Um, yeah, here they are randomly running from a dinosaur. That got out of control quickly. Um, and you can change their, I mean, guys, this is kind of like endless amazingness of what you can do with this thing. So um, you can change your panels, do all that, add words, just make sure you're meeting the requirements and teaching us something we've learned in this unit. Um, I would love for you to explain the difference between the poles on a magnet or how you can use electricity to turn a magnet into an electromagnet, teach us about adding coils, teach us about how magnets are used, um, or about Earth's magnetic field. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you could teach here. So that this is how you do that. When you're done, you click done, and then it posts it for our class to see. So um, I think this is really a fun way for us to share our ideas together throughout this time. So this is how you use Pixton.